Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NWA Worldwide. I'm Lee Tidwell. Today we're going to take you back in time to when Bart Sawyer, Chris Michaels, Teddy Sweet, Chad Hawk, and Ernest T jumped the Colorado kid in a coal miner's glove match. They hogtied him, put him on a flatbed truck, and drove him off, and he has not been seen since until a piece of tape we're going to show you in just a little bit. Well, you know, Lee, you forgot to elude that you had a gracious co-host over here, Farron Fox, and I'm going to try to help you get through this show today. And, yes, we are looking at the situation that happened not too long ago when the Colorado kid was in that coal miners on the glove match. And let me tell you something. You don't know this, but I, Chris Michaels is one of the most devious, most intelligent wrestlers that NWA Worldwide has today. And there you see right there, Bart Sawyer's on the side of the ring. Colorado knocks him down with the glove. Teddy Sweet's out there. He's in the pink and the black. And then the red-headed stepchild's on the other side. I'm telling you, this, I loved watching this piece of tape, and I love to see him. What? I saw that Colorado kid with a chair shot to the head. Down on the mat now. Bart Sawyer over there on the side celebrating. And that's exactly what I would be doing and celebrating if I had the Colorado Cat. Look at him. He's bleeding profusely, and that's just the kind of action I like to see here on NWA Worldwide. Well, now we got Bart Sawyer, Chris Michaels, and Teddy Sweet hog tying the Colorado Kid with that big bull rope. Teddy Sweet kicking him repeatedly to the head. Looks like Colorado Kid is out. He's out and out. I'm telling you what. The Colorado kid, he's been a thorn in a lot of people's side for a long time. And the Bart Sawyer and the redheaded stepchild, Chris Michaels, they're just trying to do what's right and what's right for the wrestling business and get rid of the Colorado kid. They got him hog tied, hands and feet together. Colorado kid squirming a little bit, trying to get loose. Teddy Sweet, redheaded stepchild, and Chris Michaels pulling him off to the side. Next week, fans, next Friday night, Bart Sawyer will take on the Colorado Kid with a special guest referee because apparently NWA Worldwide, Bill Barons and <laughs> Burt Prentice don't want to see what happened to the Colorado Kid happen again. So they're bringing in a special guest referee to when the Colorado Kid and Bart Sawyer meet next Friday night, Lee. Well, Bart Sawyer and them have got Colorado Kid on the flatbed truck. He is bleeding profusely from the head, beating the fire out of him on the truck right now. <laughs> and there the truck's pulling off. <laughs> oh, you know that Ernest T, he's a great truck driver, and he just drove the Colorado Kid right out of the Nashville Fairgrounds. This is, I just, every time I see this tape, I get so excited. <laughs> now, Farron, don't get so excited because this piece of tape we're about to see right here, the Colorado Kid does make his return. And Chad Hawk's going to be the beneficiary of that return. Here comes the Colorado Kid into the ring. Hawk has no idea he's there. Colorado Kid picks him up and is going to just plant him on the mat. <laughs> and right there, the Colorado Kid gets the one, two, three on Chad Hawk. But this, this just didn't end. This is a travesty right here. Now, kid's pulling out the rope that he got tied up with. Turning Chad Hawk over. He's going to hog tie Chad Hawk just the way Bart Sawyer and them hog tied him and put him on that flatbed truck. See, what I don't understand is why Burt Prentice and Bill Barons weren't out there to stop the Colorado Kid from committing this travesty of justice. The poor red-headed stepchild was blindsided by the Colorado Kid. That just shows you what kind of character the Colorado Kid has. Now, Hawk is out. Hawk is just out. I don't even know if the kid is breathing. Colorado Kid is now tying him up just like they did to him. I think it's payback. <laughs> payback, payback, whatever. The Colorado Kid is going to face his day, and next Friday night, I guarantee Bart Sawyer will take care of the Colorado Kid, special referee or no special referee. Well, now Bart Sawyer and Colorado Kid, when they square off, it is going to be a match that we want to see. Open that door this time. Now look, Colorado Kid, he's just a copycat of what Chad Hawk and all of those fellas did to him the, a few short weeks before. But you know what I'm excited about tonight, Lee, is the big matches coming to the Nashville Fairgrounds tonight, tonight, tonight. The return of the Fabulous Ones, Stan Lane and Steve Kern. All right, the Fabulous Ones are going to take on the Tennessee Vols. It seems kind of like a grudge match. Well, the Vols want to be legends. They're going to have to beat two of the biggest legends ever in Nashville wrestling history, and that's the Vols. And look right there, the Colorado Kid stuffing Chad Hawk right into his blazer, and no telling where the Colorado Kid took Chad Hawk. Now tonight, the Fabs and the Vols are going to be going up against each other to see who's going to be the tag team of the next millennium. But coming up next, the confrontation between Barry Houston and Smart.